Hey guys, John Jr. here, bringing you guys another BBR video. We've got so much to talk about in this video, so let's go ahead and jump right to it. First and foremost, before anything else, go down in the description below, join the BBR server, get my role. Get my role in the role channel. We are trying to smash OG Albina, not literally, and beat him with the number of roles. We are currently number one and one number two, and last I checked, it was like 57 to 55, and he was closing the gap. We need to beat him. It is a ego thing for me. He's my Pokemon rival, and it will show how much better our community is than OG Albinus, and it's better, let me tell you, it is better. With that being said though, the finalist, unfortunately not champion, because I don't know how to play Pokemon occasionally, is back this BBR season. We had an ass pick, we had like the 11th pick, but last time, we got Cheat and Power 7th, so there will be some good stuff there. Last BBR season, we had Joey, Pokeaim, Envy. Unfortunately, they want to spread the love a little bit, so they are doing PPL. However, we do have a lot of amazing creators in BBR this season, which you can check out down in the description below. We will have a full list. Please check everybody out except OG Albina. That is my rival. If you don't know what draft is or you're new to this for some reason, essentially, we all draft Pokemon like a fantasy of football or fantasy basketball draft, and they each have point values, and we can take so many points to draft so many Pokemon. At the end of it, we have seven to nine weeks. I think this league is eight weeks, so I don't know why I said seven to nine. And we battle one battle a week. You prep a team for the specific team that you are facing between nine and 11 Pokemon, and you try to beat whatever they can bring. We have Terra rules. There's one Terra captain that can have two Terra types. It can be any two types you want. And there are some Pokemon that have Terra banned, like Palavin, Chien, Pal, Dragapult. The overwhelming Pokemon do not have Terra. And there are 16 coaches, so we have the potential of getting pick one through 16. And of course, we got picked. 11 or some something horrible at the 11th pick i wasn't expecting much but much like last season there was some gold left with the 11th pick the number one option was going to be tornado Therian, but i did not take it because there was another pokemon there that i've said over and over that i really want to try and that pokemon is a loyal subscriber which you can become today did you know only about 25 percent of my viewers are subscribed it's absolutely free helps the channel out a ton helps me live out my dream man do you want to prevent me from living out my dream I didn't think so. Go ahead, leave a subscription and leave a like while you're down there as well. Help support the channel a ton and I really mean that guys. We have a fantastic community that we grew from BPR and from other leagues as well. And I'm even starting to stream. So join the John Jr. Discord server while you're down there too. Check out the John Jr. Community League. And if you subscribe, you'll be able to see when I upload these videos every single week. You don't want to miss it, man. The first pick is Annihilate. Annihilate was not the best Pokemon on the board, not even close, but it wasn't going to make it back to me if I didn't pick it and I want to try this Pokemon in a bad type of way. This is going to be our Terra Captain. We are going to be Terra Water and Fairy, which in my opinion are probably the two best types for this Pokemon. You can argue a couple of other ones depending on matchup and maybe we'll eventually change it depending on what our matchups look like. But Terra Water and Fairy defensively help us get the setup off, the bulk ups. If you don't know what Annihilate does, then I'm not sure where you've been the past six months, but Annihilate has a move called Rage Fist, which stacks 50 more base power every time it is hit and it maxes out at 350 and it can get out of hand pretty damn quick. Annihilate is a Pokemon that has a lot of unexplored utility as well, which I'm very, very excited to hopefully try out and try to use other sets besides just simply bulk up Rage Fist button. It has things like U-Turn, Encore, and even has Stealth Rocks, man. <laughs> like, we can throw some rocks up with our Annihilate. This Mon is crazy. It fits my playstyle super well. And while it wasn't the best pick in this first round, I actually think that our team could not be better. I could not actually say anything better about our team. We'll get to it in a minute, but Annihilate Spanky is gonna be the first overall pick here. Going into the second round, there were two main Pokemon that I wanted to pair with Annihilate, either Hydreigon or Galarian Slowking, and I wasn't sure if either of these, not only both of them would make it back to me, but both of them ended up making it back to me. I had higher hopes that Hydreigon would make it back to me round three than Galarian Slowking, so we went ahead and took Galarian Slowking. This is a mod I also have never used before, and I'm really looking forward to trying. It has a lot of functionality in Draft League. It has momentum with Chili Reception. It's just so fat and so customizable. It's a Pokemon that so many people love in Draft League, and for good reason, and I'm very excited to get to try it this season. Momentum with Chili Reception into Annihilate is going to be fantastic, and on top of that, it is a fairy sponge. No fairy can beat this Pokemon. Well, maybe some fairies, but no fairy can beat this Pokemon as far as I am concerned right now. And then round three, Hydreigon made it back to us. But so did something else. These first three picks are just Pokemon I've been desperately wanting to try. And this third overall pick is a Pokemon you see going first round a lot of drafts. And the fact that it made it back to me, 
I had to dip my hand in the walking wake pool and see what the big hype was about. Unfortunately, not our Terra Captain, but still a fantastic Pokemon. Walking Wake has virtually no switch ins in the draft league format, and those that it does, we have Pokemon 4. It is a Sun Sweeper, the best Sun Sweeper of all time, and I, there's really no competition. Hydro Steam is so difficult to switch into, even Draco Meteor, just dual stabs is super hard to switch into, and the seals that may want to switch into it don't because we have Flamethrower. It also has a little bit more utility in things like Dragon Dance. This Pokemon, the way our team looks, it's primarily going to be a breaker, but I think it'll really thrive in that role. Not trying to be a win comp, but being a early game breaker is typically what we're going to see from this Pokemon. Oh, and the nickname. So I forgot for Glaren and Slowking, his nickname is going to be Pants 2 because I named Slowking Pants. And then Walking Wakes is going to be Mean Jathan because I have a friend named Jason who we call Jason and his favorite Pokemon is Suicune or one of them at least. Our next pick is Torkoal. Everybody clap for picking Torkoal round four so it doesn't get sniped so I don't have a useless Walking Wake. Torkoal sets the sun. With our fifth overall pick, we got a Pokemon that is absolutely one of my favorites. It's a Pokemon I use time and time again. It lasts defog this generation, but otherwise it's pretty much the same. It's here to break bulky waters and that's going to be Zapdos. Zapdos pairs perfectly with the rest of our team. And honestly, I'm not sure how in the world we got our top five Pokemon minus Torkoal. It's a strong electric type that is a ground immunity, which is fantastic for what we have so far. It's a good pivoting Pokemon. It helps break waters that Walking Wink doesn't want to deal with. It's just, it's the perfect glue piece to what we have so far after these first five picks the pokemon do go down a little bit in quality but that doesn't mean that they're going to be useless i'm going to be honest with you guys most weeks we're probably going to bring these top five pokemon plus a little shitter that we have down here just because the top half of our team is so overwhelming but we have good pokemon to be little shitters for the rest of our team and the first one is going to be grimmsnarl everybody loves screens annihilate it makes annihilate's job of setting up so much easier and while i don't want to use annihilate only for setting up it's our setup sweeper. It's kind of going to be in that role a lot. And Grimmsnarl is fantastic at enabling that. Not only that, but it is our ghost resist up to this point. And also a fairy type that was left in round six, which you normally do not see. On top of that, it also got momentum in parting shot. So that might have been last generation. I don't know. Our next pick is going to be a steel type that actually functions in sun kind of well. And I'm surprised it lasts to round seven. That's going to be Bronzong. Heat proof is obviously not the best ability in the world, but the option to have it on a sun team is going to be very, very nice. And the option to have levitate with so many Pokemon that don't like ground types is also going to be fantastic. Bronzong gives us another rocker and really a valuable steel type that I don't know how was left in round seven. And just the top five plus Grimmsnarl and Bronzong are probably going to be the majority of what comes, I'm going to be honest. But these Pokemon in conjunction with one another make for one of, I think, the most overwhelming to prep for drafts I've ever had. Next up, we need a water, we need a ground. Unfortunately, I did not pick up Dondozo and Slowbro in this draft, but we are going to go ahead and pick up Quagsire, who is technically, technically speaking, we have three waters because we have Annihilate and Walking Wake. And Quagsire fills that third water role fantastic. Everybody knows I love my waters. Quagsire is really here because bulky waters are necessary. If you are new to draft, always get a bulky water. It is literally mandatory. With the ninth pick, I picked an ass Pokemon. I needed the speed tier. I got Weavile. I, I'm, listen, I'm a big fan of Weavile. I've used it on past Sun Teams, actually, to great success. I think Weavile on Sun Teams is fantastic. However, Weavile in Gen 9 is doo-doo. It lost Triple Axel, it lost Knockoff, and you could be like, oh, Terra's great on Weavile. Yeah, but I have Annihilate, so we're not doing that. So Weavile is here for the speed tier. Please, please, please respect my speed tiers. I'm bringing Weavile. For the last pick, I picked probably my least favorite Pokemon of all time, if not my second least favorite Pokemon of all time, only to Blipbug. Bramble Gas. Bramble Gas is here because it's a rapid spinner, a ground resist, and a spin blocker. It actually fills a lot of roles that we really, really desperately needed, and it does it pretty well. Unfortunately, Bramble Gas sucks, and I hate him. He's so ugly, and I'm not going to give him too... You know, we're going to take him off the screen right now. We're not going to give him too much screen time. I am going to still talk about him in conjunction with the team, though. I just think he fits really well. I don't like Torkoal being our only spinner, so I would like to get... That the second spinner that we have now, I think, honestly, Bramugas isn't too bad for the value that it was, but I still think he's just so unbearably ugly, man. And that is going to be the team that we are rocking with this season, guys. A very overwhelming, probably HO Sun team, which may not be my exact play style, but I do think this team is leagues better than the team that we had last season. And we made finals with the team last season. So your Portland Nine shares, you heard it here first, are going back to finals this season, hopefully against OG Albina. That would be the most hyped finals of all time. I love this team. I love what we got. And I hope you guys do too, because obviously this is here for your viewing pleasure. If you have not already, I don't know why you haven't yet, 
yet, but please hit that subscribe button. Helps me out a ton. Helps me achieve my dreams. Leave a like while you're down there and be sure to join the BBR Discord server down below and get my role because I'm not losing to OG Albina. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. And for now, guys, this has been John Jr. signing off.